mode, declare everything a national, we have a national emergency on the climate, we have a national emergency on abortion, we have a national emergency on this and a national emergency on that. Uh, that's what they want him to do. You think he's going to try to pull these national emergencies, defense production acts, force every car company to uh, go uh, green right away? Absolutely. And they, if, if, there was, if there was such a crisis, these people don't know how to fix it. They don't know anything. And they can't even explain the crisis. They tell you, oh, it could be one degree warmer in 100 years. That doesn't sound so bad. I'm a little chilly right now, actually. <laughs> people, it's yeah. always cold in the studio. Yeah. We have it's, <laughs> people. People pay to go to Florida because it's 30 degrees warmer. They pay for that. Honestly, I didn't know I had nipples until about five minutes ago when I stepped into the studio. You're like Letterman. You keep it at like 54 in here, but I'm awake. I don't even need coffee in this place. It's a very odd story, the Biden story, yeah. and it's getting stranger all the time. <laughs> Uh, and Mark Simone, thanks. <laughs> Coming up on front low, did pandemic stimulus payments hurt lower income Americans? Hurt them? We'll talk about it with Wall Street Journal's Alicia Finley. When? A couple of returns. I can't keep a straight face. <laughs>